I come out here, it's June 18th, show a video of the uh, wheat that I tine weeded pretty aggressively June 1st. This is spring wheat I drilled, I think about May 8th or 9th. Um, I thought I killed it, and I was tine weeding it because I was trying to get rid of all the pig's wheat in lamb's quarter, which you can kind of see down in here, there's still a few, but... <coughs> Excuse me, down in the main body in the field. And it's been really dry here. I think we had about an inch of rain two weeks ago and we haven't had any since. There might be a tenth of rain this afternoon, tenth of an inch, maybe two tenths, but um, then the next four or five days are showing no rain and temperatures in the 80s. That said, the wheat seems to be holding up fairly well. And uh, I guess what I'm looking at out here is I really don't see any growth in the lamb's quarter and pigweed. And it was pretty strong. The lamb's quarter and pigweed in here were, I had soybeans that um, the weeds got away from me last year. That was what, what I planted last year. And so they all went to seed. And I was really concerned about um, that continuing. But none of them have made it up. And I don't think they will, they'll really, I don't think I'll have to swath this when I combine it. But, um, we'll see what kind of a yield I got. I mean, it, it looks nice. And then this over here, <laughs> I tried to put uh, soy or sunflowers through the corn planter with the corn plates. And I think I might have planted them too deep. Well, really, all you see here is all the... This is what this field would look like. This is a pig, pig's weed lamb's quarter. So, you know, here's pig weed, pig weed. This is the weed seed bank that's here that would be out there if I hadn't a tine weeded it. And of course, see down here, some of the uh, pig weed on the edge has gotten up. What I think I'm gonna do in this little patch here I'll disc it down and um, put some buckwheat in here in the next week or so, once I get the drill out. But yeah, it's been real dry. Real dry. Fingers crossed for some rain. This wheat won't get uh, combined until probably August 1st, so another six weeks. Hasn't started setting up ahead yet. I'm no expert in wheat, I think I'm getting better at it. Last time I made food grade, so we'll see what happens this time. <laughs> 